a very good day um grade 12 um today um let's focus on our question paper 2016 november the final question paper um question 1.5 okay so it says study figure 1.5 which is based on the drainage basins okay so there are two drainage basins here on our figure let's analyze it and look um closer into it so that you can understand our figures so that you can also um answer effectively yes um we have drainage basin a as you can see drainage basin a and drainage basin b okay um we have z which is one of the main streams um and y which is one of the main streams at drainage uh basin a um we also have a watershed okay this says in the north okay not facing slope um yes we also have a stream order um as illustrated in drainage basin a okay so let me erase these okay okay so understanding our figure 1.5 so let's go to to answer the question question 1.5.1 the very first question says to find the term drainage basin okay what is drainage basin okay as i told you in our lesson video for under drainage basin geomorphology i gave you a definition there so a drainage basin is an area drained by a river and its tributaries okay let's go write it down in our answer sheet um so a drainage basin is an is an area drained by a river and all its tributaries yes it's an area drained by a river and all its tributaries okay question one point um five point two okay um okay question 1.5.2 says does drainage basin a north of the watershed or drainage basin b south of the watershed have the higher drainage density okay that drainage basin a which is on the north of the watershed as you can see drainage basin a is on the north of the of the watershed okay and drainage basin 2 is on the south of the watershed have the higher drainage density so the question says does drainage basin a or drainage basin b have the higher drainage density which is having higher drainage density this drainage basin a which is on the north okay of the watershed okay as you can see um the reason um there are so many tributaries um longer um mainstreams um it's it's very very huge and so on that transition is very big and so on okay it's training a large um area okay then drainage basin a then, then drainage basin b i mean yes so it's a okay it's gone right say it's a so it's a okay so question 1.5.3 Question 1.5.3 says State one factor that could have contributed to the high drainage density 
of the drainage basin identified in question 1.5.2 i gave you answer already um by stating the reason why it's a okay in 1.5.2 so state one factor so it's one factor equals the two marks so i'm going to give you some several factors okay as i've mentioned okay so you can say there's more direct runoff okay <clears throat> there's more direct surface runoff there's more direct runoff let me write it like this yes direct runoff you can also say uh heavy rainfall rainfall okay it's in the north okay yes steep slope it's very steep steep slope you can also say the sparse vegetation sparse vegetation can also say impermeable underlying rock there is impermeable underlying rock underlying rock meaning that that rock allows more surface runoff um, end up causing more water falling to the rivers can also um, cause um, floods and so on okay there is also saturated soil there is also sa saturated soil okay there's also saturated soil okay yeah so any of these okay you can choose one so that you can reason okay yes i guess they make sense to you and so on as i've, uh, I've explained um before okay so 1.5 point um four so 1.5.4 says determine the stream order at z in drainage basin b so determine the stream order z in drainage basin in drainage basin b so that's so that we have of very first tributaries it's one this is one again this is one our very first tributary our primary tributaries we have secondary tributary which is two which is two joining each other to form to form three so z is third order okay that's how it goes so our z is is third is dead order okay yes um that's how it goes but i also give you um a lesson video on a stream order and the geomorphology in this um in this channel you can go and revisit and mind um remind yourself and knowledge yourself and inform yourself okay yes and please don't forget to subscribe guys okay um let's move before moving let's do like this okay let's move to um 1.5.5 1.5.5 says refer to drainage basin a and state the relationship between stream order and the a the length of streams number of streams okay yes so we're referring at a drainage basin a in this drainage basin okay yes and and state the relationship between the stream order and the yes we are determining um the the relationship between um the stream order and the length of streams number of streams again okay. okay so by looking at um at drainage basin a the lower the order the shorter the streams okay can say that as you can see familiar yourself there okay so it's 1.5.5 okay so the lower the order 
is the shorter shorter the stream okay shorter the stream okay you can also say or oh, the higher the order the longer the stream the higher the order the shorter the stream okay the longer the stream i mean the higher the higher the order the the, the longer the stream okay for b that was a that was a for b okay our b says um number of streams yes number of streams okay number of streams um the lower the order i uh, can say the lower the order the more the number of streams of that order okay the lower the order the more the number of streams of that order of that order yes you can also say or you can say um okay you can say the higher the order the fewer the number of streams of that order okay the higher the order the fewer the number of streams of that order that order and you can say a river okay by looking at a a river that has more or many streams has higher stream order has higher stream order okay that's how it goes it goes for 1.5.5 let's move to 1.5.6 okay um 1.5.6 says evaluate the effect of a prolonged period of drought on the stream order at y in drainage basin a so looking at the effect of a period of drought on the stream order at at y okay yeah at y so first of all i can say in a okay by looking at a in a all this first order okay all of those very first order or we can say the fingertips of the primary tributaries streams will dry up during a drought this will change the stream order at y to a lower value okay that is going to change what a stream order at y to a lower value okay let's go write the answer down so i said in um in a okay in a all all the first all the first order as you can see written one 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 okay all the first other streams and i then said the well will dry up during the drought During a drought, and this will change. It will change the stream order. 
same order at y to a lower lower value okay in all the first order streams will dry up during a drought yes and this will change the stream order at at y a lower value okay yes to a to a low at y to a lower value it's going to be a lower value at y if drought um hits up okay because the very first order streams are the one that are, are the primary tributaries that take water to to y okay yes so if they dry up meaning that also y is going to to be a lower value okay yes um okay yes that's the end of our lesson video um for the day um hope you have a great um day guys um i wish you a great day um okay please don't forget to subscribe i remind you again okay please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much